So I just want to talk about this image that Cajal drew of the retina of the lizard. Cajal was very excited about the retina, I think in part because of his connection to it as an artist. And what's really interesting about this image is that he's depicted many different types of retinal ganglion cells. And in particular, there are many different types, and we know now that the reason for these different types is to do with the function of these different cells. At the time, Cajal would not have known what the functions were because he was not able to image live tissue. But he was able to notice that these things did have different types and therefore could postulate that maybe the functions would be different. And I think this is really a testament to what Cajal was able to infer with the limited data that he had, as well as how we were able to then use that information with new techniques in being able to do imaging within live animals to determine the really interesting and varied functions of these different types of cells. So here you have cells that might correspond to, for example, seeing a red or a green object in the world or seeing a moving object or a still object. And now we know a lot more about the retina because of these new functional techniques.